Hey beings of earth, my name is Nancy Jane. If you're new, welcome! Today I'm going to share with you five low-key ways to simply cleanse yourself throughout the day. Now this is going to be a great video for if you are uh, in the broom closet or you know you're just trying to keep this new age stuff in the low-key like nobody needs to know about it. This ain't the business, it's your business. So five low-key ways to simply cleanse yourself throughout the day. Let's get started. The first thing I just want to mention, just touch on is meditation. Obviously, everybody knows about meditation. It's one of the easiest, simplest ways to calm the mind. You can do it almost anywhere and for almost any amount of time that you want to, whether it needs to be three minutes or 60 minutes. Do whatever you need, whatever works for you. But not everybody likes meditation and it's harder for others than some. Of course, practice makes perfect. But so option one is meditation. Option two is crystals. And crystals are really great to use because they're easy to keep with you, whether it be in your pocket or in your bag or on jewelry. So a ring, a bracelet, necklaces, anything like that. You can easily incorporate crystals into your day. The first crystal I want to share with you guys is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is really great. It's going to take those negative vibrations and literally transform transform them into a lighter vibration. It's going to remove fears. It's going to promote positivity. It's going to deflect negativity, promote positivity. And so it's going to allow you to calm down a little bit and allow you to be a little bit more grounded as well. The second crystal that I have for you, I just have these two, is selenite. Well, boom! Big giant selenite crystal, 20 centimeters. I have these in my crystal shop if you're interested. But selenite is really great because it is connected to the moon. So it's kind of self recharging as well as having the ability to charge any other crystals that are in its vicinity up to their highest potential to help you out. So you can also just get like a little piece of selenite to carry with you. Um, I like to do that because I feel like it can help recharge my energy like in my job depending on what position I'm in, depends on how I get interacted with with the customer and like different things that you deal with and I have a hard time with that sometimes so it helps me to just kind of recharge my energy and my mood up to the a happy one instead of I get hit hit and hit with negativity from a customer and my vibration just lowers and lowers throughout the day and halfway through my shift I'm like I'm ready to go home. This crystal can help keep those positive vibrations up, keep me feeling renewed throughout my day. So I definitely highly recommend selenite and black tourmaline to help you cleanse your vibrations throughout the day. And honestly with this black tourmaline what you can do is just hold it and imagine that negativity going into the crystal and being dispersed. Put your energy into the crystal. It's okay. It's You're not going to hurt the crystal if that's part of its job. Put your energy into the crystal and imagine it dispersing. That's another way to help get rid of that negativity is visualize it coming out of your body, going into the crystal, and then being dispersed. And then same thing with your selenite in your hand. You can hold it and instead of imagining the energy going that way, imagine absorbing the energy from the crystal and refilling yourself with those vibrations. So really, if you use these together, that would be the best idea. Take out that negativity, put it into your black tourmaline, let it do its job, and then in comes the selenite, bring in that good energy, bring in the moon's energy to help refill, recharge your positivity and good vibrations. Again, if you're interested in either of these crystals, there will be uh, links in the description box. The next idea I have for you to simply cleanse yourself throughout the day includes two herbs, sage and lavender. You can just pick off leaves or the stem and the leaf if you're getting a fresh one, dried one, it doesn't even matter what form it is, as long as you have a piece of the herb. Now I'm recommending sage because if you think about, you know, us sage, uh, saging the house with the smoke, smudging it, you can kind of think about doing that same thing with a sage leaf. Just brush it over your forehead, over your face, over your skin, and just imagine that negativity, that which is not serving you, just 
be just br being brushed away, being brushed away off of your body in a way, and just being released. Just think about releasing all that which does not serve you as you brush the sage against your skin. And while you do with the lavender across your forehead, breathe in the aroma around your face, again, brushing your arms or the rest of your body, feel the calming vibrations of that lavender being absorbed into your body and just feel yourself becoming calmer and more grounded. Again, this works great with either fresh or dried. It does not matter as long as you can touch it, hold it, feel it, and do its thing, it will work. You can also really use any other herb that goes with the intention that you're going for and that you have access to. The fourth low key way I have for you to simply cleanse yourself throughout the day is by using moon water. If you're not familiar with moon water, you can check out this video right here and I will link that in description and at the end of the video for you. But you can use moon water just by drinking it, assuming that you used a good purified water to make your moon water. You can just drink it and allow that moon's energy to recharge your body, your vibrations, your positive energy, and recharge that up to its fullest potential. Just absorb that moon's energy through that water while you're drinking it. And or in combination with that, you can charge that water with your intention of whether it be calming or releasing negativity or you know raising your positive vibrations charge that water with that intention whether it be moon water or just regular water and ingest that as well and allow those properties to be absorbed by your body now again this charging the water method you can do with just regular water but using the full moon water is going to help give it an extra boost an extra oomph um, to help you with those intentions the fifth and last method I have for you to simply cleanse yourself throughout the day probably doesn't sound like a fun one, but it's pretty effective. And that is gratitude journaling. And this is going to help you see the blessings that are all around you and already in your life, helping you feel more full, and satisfied and happy about the life that you're living. If you are still here with me, let me know by commenting down below, cleanse, as well as if you have any other ideas, drop those down below so that everybody else can learn with us. And what way do you plan on using first? What are you excited about doing? If you liked today's video, give it a like so that more people can see it in the algorithm. If you are ready, subscribe, follow, and until next time, I hope that love, light, and good vibrations find their way to you. Bye, guys. Limo Studio. That's the brand of light I use. There you go. You heard me sing. Now you know what kind of lights I use. There's a link in the description box. It's always there.